Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use the sculpting brushes for modeling. In this simple project, I have a text object uh, with uh, some caps and bevels, as you can see, and it's pretty nice. Now, first of all, I want to create enough geometry so that my sculpting brushes, which exist in the mesh menu, brushes and you can release your mouse when you're over that line and this will tear them out and uh, in order to do that uh, i have to go through a couple of steps i'm going to start with a volume builder and a volume measure and i'm going to take the text put it under the builder and the builder under the measure now make sure that the builder has enough resolution so i'm going to make uh, the voxel size much smaller until I get the definition I want. Uh, you can do this uh, to the extent that it looks uh, the way you want it to look. Uh, go to the garage shading and turn off the lines if you want to get a better idea. Now I don't care about these lines for now because uh, those are some of the things I can go and fix with my sculpting brushes. Excellent. So let's go back to the lines to see what the topology looks like. Now this right here has some odd little polygons. So what I want to make sure is that my polygons are pretty equal and uh, they look uh, a bit better than they do now. And the way to do that is to go and add a remesh object and make everything a child of it. Wait a few seconds and now as you can see we have much better topology. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this uh, for future reference, but I'm going to go to the remesh, right click and say current state to object. I'm going to get a mesh object that is exactly what this is, but editable. Turn everything off, make these invisible, and I'm just going to move them down here. From this point onwards, I can use this uh, high density polygon model with my brushes. And uh, let's start doing that. You can use uh, the smooth brush. And before I do any dabs, you can always go down here. You can see we have this flood button in the settings tab. And the flood will smooth everything. So you can do this a few times to get rid of any artifacts. Now you can go and you can sculpt in modeling mode. So you can add some damage. Let's go to the draw. You can use your middle mouse button and... Uh, drag up and down for strength or middle mouse button and left or right for radius. There you go. So I can add some damage. I can press control to remove some damage and I can press shift to smooth out. And you can go over your model and create anything you want and make it nice and damaged. And at any point you can go to the smooth, do a flood just to smooth everything out. And that way you have full control of uh, some sort of organic modeling using the sculpt brushes. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.